What it is, what it does, you don't see Crucial Boys Eddie Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? Some muck bang! And today I have a very special guest with me, as you guys can see by that title. I know y'all went clicking fast. You want to introduce yourself? Hey guys, I'm Deja Unique. This is Deja, you guys. Um, like, you, like I said, as you can see by the title, this is my ex best friend while she was here in Houston. And I uh, decided to bring her onto the channel. Now, I do want to put a huge disclaimer. Me, 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 I'm sound the alarms. By any means, be her are talking, flirty, or anything of that sort, we were legit pure friends sure. uh, since we first met, and that's how it is, and that's how it would always be. So I don't want you guys to go with your assumptions. I know how the comment section can get. This is nothing like that, anything of that sort. It's purely platonic friendship. But how do you feel? <laughs> A little nervous. A little, a little nervous? A little nervous. <laughs> it's funny that she's nervous because you do social media as well. I do. Um, so I'm on Instagram, mm -hmm. I'm on Twitter, I'm also on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You guys can find me at Deja Unique on everything. Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That's D-A-E-J-A. -E Unique is spelled with the E. U-N-I-Q-U-E. Mm -hmm. -E. And we're going to have all of our all of our information in the description box down below. But let's go ahead and get a prayer and a thumbnail because I'm starving right Me now. Too. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. And it's anything. You want to just smile for the camera? <laughs> All right. <laughs> and let's dive in. Okay. I had to go stop at Popeye's because um, I know, well, <laughs> well, you guys don't know, but she is from Louisiana. Born and raised, right? Yes. So anybody from New Orleans mm -hmm. loves to differentiate that we're from New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, yeah. I apologize. <laughs> from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely something to make note of. I am from New Orleans, but I still represent for the whole state. Okay. Okay. For sure. For sure. So I had. Let them get to know you. Are they well, here? let me. T yeah, yeah. You can grab it. Oh, yeah. Your chicken tenders are there. My bad. There you go. <laughs> so first. Let me tell you guys the backstory of Deja and how me and her met. So pretty much, um, she stays in these uh, the same uh, condos that I stay in, and um, we, uh, me and my videographer went downstairs for a uh, what was it? Some kind of meeting group, but it was like a drinking one. Yeah, it was like happy a hour. happy hour. Yeah, it was a happy hour here in my uh, at the complex and. Um, yeah, I ended up meeting her down there because it's a place to, to get to know the people who live all, all in the condo. So ended up meeting her and uh, yeah, we just hit it off or chopped it up. Red beans, yeah. Chopped it up and that's how we got to know each other. So long story short, uh, later on in time, my ex was like, oh, I met this girl. She's she's super cool. Like, me and her vibe, she like is and really- And we hit it off like instantly. Yeah. But both, like, yeah. both times. Like when Facts. I met you guys at the happy hour mm -hmm. and then when I also met. Yeah, uh, uh, my ex. So she was just like, oh yeah, like she's big on Twitter. She does social media. Like me and her are super cool, that side of that. And she's like, I want you to meet her. I'm like, bet. So one day we went down uh, to do a video downstairs with my videographer. And then we ended up seeing, uh, <laughs> Her, uh, her in the gym. She was like, "Oh, this is her. This is her." I'm like, "Oh, I've been better. I'm better at the happy hour." And then that's how we all end up linking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's pretty much the backstory about how me and her became cool, <laughs> and how she met everybody <laughs> in the mix. Yeah, the mm -hmm. whole friend group. So let them get to know who Deja is. That's a good question. Um, so should I do like what I've been up to more yeah. recently? Or? Yeah. What What have you been up to? Um, I think right now I've kind of just been adjusting to the new norm uh -huh. and that's with my friend leaving. Mm -hmm. um, since you guys were really the only friends that I had here in Houston, I'm, I'm sociable, however I am pretty private. Mm. So I think once I met you guys in the building and we hit it off, I was like, okay, that's always a good sign for me. Mm -hmm. um, just hit it off with people right away. Yeah. And um, so yeah, meeting you guys here, and then my friend leaving it was hard. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> um, it was like, dang, I just met you. Why are you leaving? Yeah. So 
um, that was sad. So I am grateful um, that we can still like link up yeah. and, and talk about just like memories and you yeah, know. facts. Um, so actually, and and I definitely agree with you because it's that one hundred percent hard meeting people. You know, being from a certain so a different, a, place. different place. So mm -hmm. how long have you been in Houston? Um, I've been here for three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I moved here in twenty twenty, and I still don't know many people because. Like I said, unless you're working a, a typical nine to five where you can be around employees or sure. um, in schooling, it's really hard to get to know new people. So that's why I was like, wanted to go to happy hour to meet, you know, some new faces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm always at the events. Mm -hmm. So once I saw you guys, I was like, oh, they're new. Mm -hmm. So. I was like, I'm, I'll These chat. are some new condos. You're one of the first people to move here. Like, you moved in yeah. the first month they opened, right? Yeah, as soon as they opened, I was like, I'm in here. Mm -hmm. The amenities weren't done, but I was just like, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. I end up liking where we're living, so. Mm -hmm. So you like Houston better than New Orleans? No. No? We want to go back? I miss home, but I just know that it's probably not the safest place to be right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Houston, Houston, it works for what it is. It's mm -hmm. one of those places where it's like, it's huge, mm -hmm. but it definitely works for what it is. So how are you adjusting to Houston? Um, have I adjusted? I think my <laughs> friendships with you guys definitely helped me adjust more, like us going out, mm -hmm. um, eating out. You normally know a lot of good places. Yeah. We're always picking out like where we're gonna go eat. So that's always so, helpful. Deja was, the single one in the group. <laughs> so when we used to go out, like I felt bad because like Deja just like, didn't know nobody either. So I used to tell my ex like, oh yeah, invite Deja with us. Let's go to the movie. And she used to come to the movies with us. Third willing. Third willing. Yeah, mm -hmm. to the movies with us. We used to go to um, go out to eat, grab drinks and things of that sort. So how's the dating life for you? <laughs> the third willer. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's good. Yeah. Mm. I found someone that I think I like. Mm. Um, hopefully he likes me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, I found somebody I think I like. Um, That's good. Mm -hmm. That's your show. I think I'm going to keep it pretty low key for a while until I know for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely, I'm not a person that you don't like public. publicize my relationship. I yeah. might post like a, a hand, um, a watch, private. <laughs> <laughs> a shoe. Mm -hmm. That's you know, good. Yeah. That's good to keep your life private. But with you being on social media, you don't you feel you still don't want to bring it out on that though? Mm. I think once we know it's like for sure. Mm -hmm. Probably like if we get engaged. Mm. Or so you gotta wait till you're engaged. <laughs> yeah, it has to be official. Yeah. I feel. Mm-hmm. Not feel. just Oh, we're boyfriend and girlfriend and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more official. You think you're ready for something official? I think I Mm. You are? So. Mm -hmm. Today is just a settled down, down type. Mm -hmm. Which I'm surprised she's so young. And I'm thinking like, okay, usually you want to turn up have fun, but. Yeah, no, I want, if I can get married tomorrow, mm -hmm. should have probably done it yesterday, but if I can <laughs> get married tomorrow, I would. Because, I don't know, I feel like getting that part of your life out of the way mm -hmm. and just done mm -hmm. will then allow you to grow with your person mm -hmm. and kind of just like move forward and explore what life is like together yeah. and because there's a lot of times um i'm an aquarius for those of you who are into star signs we're, we're both, both aquarius <laughs> <laughs> and that's um, what uh what's my ex kept saying you two would get along perfect you guys are so much alike you guys remind me of each other yeah and, she's always used to say every time i hear deja talk she sounds like you and i'm like uh oh <laughs> <laughs> that's <actually> <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a good thing <laughs> Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think naturally we're both pretty private people and mm -hmm. there's people that like, once we find our people, those are our people. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely like that in a relationship. Um, yeah. I want to find my person and then do life together. Mm -hmm. And I think you and I both have discussed that we don't mind spending time together, um, like inside, like mm -hmm. by ourselves. We don't need to spend a lot of time yeah. with other people. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely think I spend a lot of time alone. Yeah. And there's always moments, especially when I'm like traveling, recording content while I'm traveling and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I am like, damn, I wish someone was here to record me doing this. Mm -hmm. Or I wish, 
you know, someone was here to experience snorkeling for the first time with me. There's a lot of first times, first time moments I do by myself. Mm -hmm. So I wish. So you just want to enjoy those moments with someone. With someone else. Yeah. yeah I wish someone was there. I feel you, damn. This is so sad. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so single. And I, Maybe we I, should do like a match. A matchmaking? A matchmaking. I honestly had, I probably should have had that idea and I presented it. This is before, like, I presented it to my videographer. Mm -hmm. It was with my ex and we were going to do something like that too, but this never ended up doing it. But I may, I may end up doing it. But, yeah. um, the age is very well traveled too, so I know okay. you definitely really wish you could experience that with yeah. someone. Like, you've been, where have you been? I've been to Bali, I've been to Thailand, the Philippines, Paris a couple of times. I've been to Bali a couple of times. Mm. Um, Costa Rica, Cozumel, Cancun, Tulum. So you're living your best life. At 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're definitely doing yeah, it. Yeah, at 22 I, for sure. Well, I've been to Indiana, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's been, I, I've never been out to come. I'm just scared of those flights. Mm. How's the flights like? Cause, well, I get motion sickness easily, so that's oh, what I'm okay, worried about. That's different, but I think you can take something for that. Yeah, what? I don't know. Even when I travel I across the states, mm -hmm. drama man. But even when I travel across the states, I um, I it only works for like an hour and a half, two hours. You know what I mean? Okay. So, uh. A 14 hour fight just sounds crazy to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. That kind of hot. Oh my mm. Are you good? Yeah. Mm. Okay. I didn't get that much in my eye. Okay. You good? Yeah. It's, <laughs> my bad. It's, it's hot, so yeah. I'm going to get in your eye. Yeah. No, you're good. I'm good. But yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm just worried about being on a plane that long. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people say, It'll be different because the plane is so big that I probably won't feel it as much. Yeah. Those, the, the international flights are always like way bigger. Mm -hmm. And they're thick. Like you can like look at it and see like, okay, this is a huge plane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so can I post something to your subscribers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think because I love traveling mm -hmm. and even if I were to have to have it on my channel mm -hmm. or even if he just does it on his own channel, I think he should travel and try foods from other countries mm. in different places mm -hmm. um just to kind of like let you guys see some other like fast food spots maybe yeah. like do a cooking class mm -hmm. other places i think that would be dope um so yeah if you guys would like that you should comment in and encourage <laughs> him and say listen to Dave because that's a great idea mm -hmm. but well i definitely think you should i know a lot of people would love to see me do that it's just like i get over that flight thing mm -hmm. if i get over that flight thing it's maybe we can start small Mm -hmm. We can do like Jamaica. There's a lot of like Jamaican food. I think you're about to say Austin, <laughs> <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> she said Jamaica. <laughs> no, for sure. Mm -hmm. I want to try a pepper. Is it hot? Those got some spice to it. Actually, it's spicier than normal, but it's not bad. It's not bad. You from New Orleans? You should be able to handle some spice. I can, but <laughs> you can handle hot stuff. <laughs> I don't want to like. I just, I think you're like the last person to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when it's I promise you it's good. You bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to pass me that hot sauce? Oh yeah, yeah. This one? No, that one right okay. there, yeah. Got it. Mm. Oh, yeah, now that you know about my dating life, <laughs> what does your dating life look like? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Let's just say right now, I'm enjoying myself. Okay. Um, ha having fun, living, being single, mm -hmm. enjoying my life, living my best life, you know. Um, you know, a lot of typical answers will be like, um, you know, I'm um, focusing on me right now. That's, I've been focusing on me though, you know, so yeah. I never will put me last, so. But in relationships, don't you feel no, like... No, yeah, yeah, I knew that was going to go there. I knew that was going to go there right there. No, 100%. In relationships, is not just all about you. But I'm saying, yeah. though, like, ever since, like, being single, you know, mm. I just, you know, I'm okay. always, you know, it's not a focus on me moment because, you know, I'm always making sure and nurturing myself. You know what I mean? Making sure okay. I'm good at the end of the day. So I'm just, I'll say I'm enjoying myself, having fun. Um, I'm realizing that... Uh, 
I don't know. Okay. This I, I I realized a lot from that from my last situation. So I know if I do decide to go on a date situation uh, in the future, it'll be a totally different scenario. You know. Okay. What do you feel like you are looking for in a mate? <laughs> Honestly, one of the biggest things down is understanding. Mm. That's really okay. what I want in someone. Someone who's understanding, uh, someone who's patient, and uh, just understand that, you know, this is a, uh, just understand me, just hear me yeah. out, and uh, take their time with me, you know what I mean? Yeah. No need to rush into anything. And yeah, because I think no matter what age you are, mm -hmm. you're still learning. Yeah, facts. And when you're, when you go into a relationship, you have to realize, okay, me and this person are both going to grow, we're going to change every day, we're going to wake up with new feelings. Mm -hmm. How do we manage that together mm -hmm. and under one roof? Mm -hmm. So, and you know, talk to you. You're very mature for your age too, <laughs> and you're very communicative. Communicative. That's one big thing I know I do want is communication. Someone is one to hear me out, mm -hmm. and like I said, understand my side, and I can understand her because I know I need to be more understanding too in a relationship as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and um. Just know that a relationship is just always something that you got to work on. There's never a point in time where you can just, okay, we've done it. You yeah, know, we did it's the just a continuously, work continuously working project that, you know, you just, it's just like uh, some things that just never go away, like paying, uh, well, not rent, but even mortgages, paying to live. That's the bill that's never going to go away. And that's yeah. how relationships are. Something that's never going to go away and always got to continue to work at it. For sure. And I think a lot of times, even in relationships, old emotions or like childhood trauma or mm -hmm. past relationship traumas you can think oh i healed from the girl from mm -hmm. two relationships ago i'm mm -hmm. good but then you'll get into your new relationship they'll say something that reminds you of that other person and you're right back mm -hmm. feeling what you felt before so a lot of times people also have to realize that healing is continuous mm -hmm. and so like you might think you heal from your past situation, but you might get into something new and something could trigger that and then you guys are back. Mm -hmm. So definitely going back to that understanding point of, we both have to be understanding to yeah. make this work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing is I'm always big on is not bringing my past relationship into my new relationship. Okay. Because I know I wouldn't want that for me, from a woman. So I don't do, I try not to do the same as well. Mm -hmm. So do you mean I'm, like people, <clears throat> Like, let's say, coming in with trust issues because okay. of what happened in the past or mm -hmm. coming in, uh, like, trying to always hawking someone because, oh, this is what happened, so now I need to be on you because of that. You know, one thing a lot of people say, you know, um, you know, you got to earn my respect. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing big about me is, like, I, I respect people off bat. You know, and, I, and I'm going to trust you off bat. Obviously, I'm not going to go crazy and let a stranger into my home, but, you know, I'm going to give you a certain level of trust, certain level of respect okay. right off front. You know what Same. I mean? I don't feel like I, I'm not going to respect you at all until you prove it to me. No, that's just, I feel like human nature is you should naturally just give somebody a certain level, even if it's 50%. Yeah, to start off. Yeah, to start off with mm -hmm. and then let them build to gain more trust till it's 100% or let them go get to the negatives, you know? So, I like that because that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, me and her are a lot alike in a lot Too of things. Too much alike. Yeah. <laughs> Too much alike. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. And it's crazy because I really haven't met Aquariuses before. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I know you're the one who told me that our sign is a rare sign. I never knew that until you told me that. Mm -hmm. There are not a lot of us. So mm -hmm. when we find us, it's like little gems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. And it's actually, have you ever dated an Aquarius? I have. How was that like? Um... <laughs> was that good? <laughs> no, I, mm, it was almost like we were gonna run the same game on each other. Oh, that's hectic! I can't yeah. date myself. <laughs> yeah. it, it was like it's like if you do something, I already know your next move because mm -hmm. I would kind of do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely something where. But I enjoyed it. I think when you date your the same sign, you learn a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. And you're like, wow, I do that? Mm -hmm. oh, wow, am I that annoying? Or, you know, you never yeah, know. That's what I think. So, you do, I feel like I'll recommend it if people are still in the dating phase. I definitely would recommend mm -hmm. dating your same sign mm -hmm. because you'll learn a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. 
I probably gotta try that out one time. Yeah, I'm just see. I always miss. I was like, I'm cool on that myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I'm a lot. I'm mm -hmm. a choir a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want you to like tell me you love me. I want like constant like affection. So what? Those are your love languages. What yeah, are? Yeah. Um. Okay. I would say my love language, because in any any person, you need all five mm -hmm. just to like function. Um. So you, you might need a gift from time to time. You might need a pat on the back, a touch on the shoulder to know like, oh, this person still cares or uh -huh. still loves me. Um, but for sure, I would say mine is words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Like I have to be reassured. I have to know that when you didn't cuddle me last night and you wake up and tell me like, no, I still care about you. It's okay. I didn't mean to turn yeah. over. It's like, tell you. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. For me... I'll say affection. Okay, so physical touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy because sometimes I'm not that affectionate. Mm -hmm. are, are you the same way? Yeah. <laughs> I still want you to touch me though. Mm -hmm. Like still hold me, still hug me. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to say uh, words of affirmation too as well because I, I need to know what time it is. You know, you telling me that, you know, rocking with me and things of that sort. And, uh, it helps let it lets me know like okay you know she's still in this you know what I mean mm -hmm. but I definitely agree with you that you definitely need all all the at some point in time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and there was this little technique that I learned mm -hmm. it's called like checking in and it's something you can try in your your relationship to come mm -hmm. um, asking a person about their love tank mm -hmm. so it's like a check in once a week and asking them like hey as a lover would would you give me because i like numbers i don't know if you like numbers but mm -hmm. if your lover's like hey this week i would give you a 70 percent and then they'll let you know why because i wanted you to hold me a little bit more i wanted you to mm -hmm. so like i didn't feel like or when you made the comment about my hair i felt like you could have said it a different way mm -hmm. the way you said it hurt my feelings so this yeah. week my love tank is at a 70 mm -hmm. percent or this week you bought me on a date and you got flowers on Wednesday mm -hmm. this week my love tank is at a hundred you know so th that way you can check in and that's a very communicative relationship <laughs> <laughs> and that way and it's also sometimes it's uncomfortable but having the uncomfortable conversations is what keeps the relationship going yeah, but it shows maturity though mm -hmm. but yeah you will have to check in <clears throat> and check in not just when things go wrong mm -hmm. but just check in weekly have you done something like that before um, I have. Yeah. Mm hmm And how was that? How did that work out? It, what was he like? How was, what was his reaction? Um. Because, you know, I ain't gonna lie. The petty side of me, like the not going side of me, like, really? Like, we're not, this is not therapy. Like, we're mm -hmm. good, you know what I mean? Yeah. But how did he react to it um, when you first brought it up? I think he was pretty responsive. Mm -hmm. I think he trusts my, my judgment. Mm -hmm. Like, he's acknowledged, like, you're very wise mm -hmm. so he i think you just have to find someone that's like open to who you are and receiving what what you're about yeah yeah because i know like i'm not for everybody most guys would be like this is too much yeah i don't want to talk that often like don't talk to me you go in the other room i go in this room so you know i like that though because it lets me know like you're actively trying to make this work yeah yeah for sure and that's to me is like affirmation yeah know? that's the affirmation mm -hmm. i think that's why I like the therapy um, practice or technique because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, you're trying to make this, mm -hmm. or I'm trying to make this work, or yeah, so. I'm feeling you. What was your yeah. longest relationship? Five years. Five years? Yeah. What was your longest relationship? Like four? I really don't even know, to be honest with you. I only really been in like four relationships because. And I still count the on and off thing mm -hmm. that people do. Yeah. Because that still counts. Yeah. Your heart's still in it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, me get, being in a relationship, you know, relationships and dating are two totally different things. And me being in relationships, I don't I don't uh, decide to be in one unless I can see potential marriage with you one day, you know? Okay. So, not been in many. So, you don't, you don't, you, you feel like you date to marry? Correct. Okay, same. No, yeah, 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 correct. Okay. So, I, well, well, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> Dates are very, um, cause the thing is I dated knowing, cause like I said, dating is different relationships. So yeah. dating, I dated knowing that, uh, hey, this may not turn into nothing, but we're just, mm. you know what I mean? 
So when you say date tomorrow, that means you go out into the dating going world out, with yeah. the intentions of like, I'm gonna find this person and I hope that we get married. Yeah, well, yeah. So I'm dating to for a relationship, but a relationship is potential for marriage. Okay. You know? So it's like if I make it official. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I'm looking. Yeah. To get married. I see you have the potential of us getting married. Okay. Oh, I'm not saying you are the one because then I'll just skip the relationship phase. Okay. Those phase. But. Yeah, I was just like, okay, yeah, I potentially could see you be a, a wife one day. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do this relationship thing and see how that works out. Do you want to get married? One hundred percent, I do. Um, always like, you know, I grew up. My mom and pops were married, you know, so I grew up around that environment. You know, I remember as a kid, and it sounds kind of like cringy for me, but I know a lot of people say it's not cringy. But I just remember as a kid, I just used to want to drive in a car holding hands with my oh. wife. And I used to wonder this kid, you know what I mean? And I was like, one day it's gonna be me. And stuff of like that sort. But I grew up in a household like that, so you know I always wanted that and uh, having a family one day. <laughs> I don't think I knew this side of you. <laughs> <laughs> this, cause it, was, it was when I was a kid too, and I remember like the day that it happened, I was like, oh, I can't wait. I think it was my parents on hands in the car. I was like, oh, yeah, I was looking that. for those. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> definitely need some of these biscuits. Even though they get so much flack for being so hard, it's good. You put honey on it. it. It's, it's fire to me. Me too. <laughs> I like the dry biscuits. You do? A scone. <laughs> What I was gonna say is, uh, you wanna get married? I'm so because you said oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I could even do because I am younger, and I know a lot of people look at that like, oh, you're young, you're gonna change your mind later. I'm like, mm, I'm not. Mm -hmm. But um, I could see myself like getting engaged, mm -hmm. and then like being engaged for years before we actually do the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So see? I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um. I don't know. This could However, be like, I just need to know we're locked in. Yeah. Yeah. This could be an Aquarius thing. Um, right. But I know we can get out. Uh, if we find someone, we're okay with, like, okay, I'm going to call it a day. You know yeah. what I mean? We don't feel the need to go search it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like once this person checks off the boxes. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, okay, yeah. Right. They're ready to settle. This is it. Uh -huh. yeah, this is it. <laughs> and it's not like, I think because we're already so picky on the front end. Mm hmm. That once we get the person, we're like, okay, good. The pickiness mm -hmm. works. Like mm -hmm. I picked right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think we have such high standards while we're searching. Mm -hmm. So we already kind of like knock out the options. We don't need to like date, sit down in front of you to yeah. determine if this is gonna work or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it bad to have high standards? Mm -hmm. Is it bad to have high standards? No. And what if it, I think we talked about that a little bit. Let me ask you this, so is it bad to have high standards if you're not meeting those high standards? Oh no. Yeah, it's bad then. <laughs> so if you go into something and you how do I say? I'll speak for myself. Mm -hmm. I know like growing up my parents provided a certain type of life lifestyle for me. Mm -hmm. Once I graduated I started providing a certain, well, even in high school, I started providing a certain type of lifestyle for myself. Yeah. So once I started dating, I really didn't see myself dealing with anyone that wasn't where I was at. Yeah. Um, I think we were talking about, like, are you open to building mm -hmm. someone yeah. up? Um, and I think I did that in my very first relationship, which was my longest relationship. Mm -hmm. However, it was my most taxing relationship. Like I felt the most drain after it. I feel like I had to do the he the biggest healing process mm -hmm. from it. Um, it even like affected relationships after because like they would trigger stuff and mm -hmm. it would come back up. So mm -hmm. I definitely don't think I would build again. Mm -hmm. We can build like meet each other where we are. Or you be a little bit more, and then we build together. Mm -hmm. um, I'm open to coming in to see like, okay, this is what he has going on. He just needs to tweak this and that. I want to be there to help. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm open to that, and I think that's a way that we also show mm -hmm. like our giving love language is kind of I guess I would say acts of service, random acts of service. Like mm -hmm. we want to go in and. Not build a person, but we like to help. Yeah, as much as we can. I'll say, I don't know, and it could be a, di a different position because I am a guy. You know, mm -hmm. guys are uh, a lot of times, you know, more of a just naturally like to take on that role of uh, being a man and providing. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't mind building, but I have to. If I am building, I have to know that you got the drive, you got the hustle, and I know that 
you're going to be able to you you'll you'll get it no matter what. You know what I mean? If I know that you're you're gonna, you're a go getter and you're going to get it no matter what, with or without me, then I don't mind building. You know what I mean? Because it's like. And then plus, if you're my partner, of course I want to uplift my partner and, and see her uh, Do doing, well. doing well. You know, I don't want my partner to be down and out and have to depend on me mm -hmm. forever. You know what I mean? Because I don't want her supposed to get that back, you know? And not even just with um, with money-wise, but this building, just just as a human, just mm -hmm. navigating the, navigating this world, you know? But I Do think... Because I think, I think the way Aquarius show love is not the, t the typical way of mm -hmm. showing love. I have a, I have, have you ever been told like, oh, I don't, I didn't know that you loved me, or I didn't know that that was your way of showing me. Yeah, and I, I've gotten that before. I get that often. It's like, uh, I feel like all oh, the things that I'm doing is like, oh, you should know I love you because of this and because of that. But I guess it's not to other people. I don't know, not like as um, transparent enough. Mm -hmm. So I need to figure out. That's one thing I do need to work on though is like showing love and in the way and, that they need to yeah. receive it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's different that. for everybody, so so it's like I have to figure out which way how they like it to be yeah. honest. Yeah. So then that that would be the conversation about love languages, mm -hmm. and then you guys would then talk about how I think doing those check ins mm -hmm. will will help. Yeah. Because then that way you'll be like, okay, I tried this this week, mm -hmm. that didn't really work. Let me try this yeah. way next week. Do you yeah. want to cut that sandwich? I know. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. I know. I'm super full right now. I'm gonna lie to you. I know you're good. Mm -hmm. I just want a little bit. Oh, you'd be maxing. A bite. <laughs> Where's the knife at? I was over there. It's always the skinny ones who can eat the most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can eat. I'm from New Orleans. We eat. We are like food. I gotta food try. Movies. I gotta try some New Orleans food. Oh, that know? that would be a good good um video for you to come down to New Orleans. What's one of your favorite spots out there? Mm, my grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> she would love to hear me say that, but no, it's very true. Mm -hmm. Like anyone I bring home. I don't even I don't even think to like bring you to a restaurant. I'm like I need to bring you to if you want true quick Creole cuisine, it's mm -hmm. like I need to bring you to this Creole lady. Yeah. Lady, so. <laughs> yeah, I want how's Mardi Gras? Always wanted to go to Mardi Gras. Is it lit? Mardi Gras is lit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For people from New Orleans, Mardi Gras is a fashion show. Mm. So we normally put on our best because mm -hmm. we know the whole city is going to be out mm -hmm. and you don't know who you're going to run into. Mm -hmm. So you want to look good. Yeah. But for the tourists, it's fun. It's just a time to turn up. It's a time to turn up, mm -hmm. time to drink. Mm -hmm. We eat um, seafood, turkey necks at that time. Mm -hmm. Have you had a turkey neck before? I don't know if I had a turkey neck. Probably mm -hmm. like it's some pot okay. roast, but I don't think so. Okay, well, mm -hmm. we might have to take you home, man. Yeah, I definitely gotta go. Cause how far is the uh, uh, New Orleans from here for a drive? Like five four? hours. Five. Okay. Mm -hmm. How how you drive? You might can make it like three <laughs> hours and thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me find out you feel unsafe in the car with me. That's what I think. <laughs> no, I don't feel unsafe. I think I've gotten used to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotten used to it. Uh, I'm to up. just guys driving in general. Mm -hmm. I'm heavy on the gas. Yeah. But. This was interesting. It was. I'm glad I got to have you on. I'm glad to be on. <laughs> um, once again, you guys, no drama, no nothing crazy. Like I said, I'm really truly friends, and uh, you know, it was one. Like I'm glad we all got to meet, and like we're all kicking it when um, mm -hmm. when we uh, when you're living here and stuff. Because it was just a vibe. Like I said, it's hard to meet new people nowadays, and then especially back one another Aquarius <laughs> and meeting someone who was like on the same type of time that I'd be on. Yeah, that's crazy. I enjoyed it. So where can they find you at? You guys can find me on Instagram, on Twitter, and also on YouTube at Deja Unique. That's D-A-E-J-A-E-U-N-I-Q-U-E. -E -E. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that's all, all All those platforms you're active. Same. Mm -hmm. I'm active on all of them. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Y'all go check her out, man. I promise you I'm going to have her all her information in the description box down below. But make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at a chunk That is Z-A-D-D-Y. C-H-U-N-K. C-H-U-N-K. But Z C C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the Z C C gang is on top. Let's get it!